Hello and welcome to Optin Monster. In this video, you'll learn how to show an Optin Monster campaign to your website visitors after a video has ended. Start by clicking the green Create Campaign button. Next, you're going to design the campaign that will show after your video has ended. We'll select the Simple Template. Next, you're going to need to name your campaign and click Start Building. Within the drag and drop builder, you can completely customize your campaign to reflect the message you'd like to share at the end of the video. Beyond the headline, remember you can change fonts, background colors, button colors, button actions, and more. Next, within the display rules tab, we're going to select the if visitor clicked monster link, go to the next step, make sure that the opt-in is shown, and in the summary, you can confirm that the display rules are correct. Next, in the Integrations tab, we'll add our email marketing service provider to ensure that we can capture the emails generated by this campaign. Next, in the Analytics tab, we'll make sure to connect to our Google Analytics so we can track our conversions and make data-driven decisions based on this campaign. Finally, in the Publish tab, we'll toggle from Pause to Live, save and follow the embed instructions for your web platform. First, we'll add in our special monster link code provided to you in the written version of this tutorial. Simply copy the code and paste it into your poster page, but we're going to need to change the unique ID of the campaign, which you can find in your Optin Monster dashboard under more options of the campaign you just created. Go down to unique ID and copy the code. This is what we'll replace in our special code. Save your draft as you go, and your next steps will depend on if you have an HTML5 or YouTube video. If you're using the code for HTML5 video, simply paste in your code, and at this point you can save and publish your video. Next, we're going to need to add JavaScript to the footer of our site. Simply copy the JavaScript provided for you in the written tutorial, and in Appearances, go to Editor, and in the footer of your site, you can paste in the JavaScript you just copied. Click Update File, and if you follow the instructions correctly, your campaign should show when your video ends, and this is how it should look on your site. If you're using YouTube to embed your video, then we have the instructions for you now. Go to the YouTube video you're going to embed and click on share in the embed button. Here you'll be provided with the embed code that you'll need to copy and we'll go back to our poster page and paste in our embed code. We need to make two simple changes to this embed code. After the YouTube URL, type in question mark enable JS API equals one Directly after the opening iframe, we need to type in ID equals quotation marks player and quotation marks. Now you're ready to publish or update. And the final step is to add the corresponding JavaScript to the footer of your site. The JavaScript can be found in the written version of the tutorial. Simply copy and paste in and update the file. Once the file's updated successfully, you're ready to check out your video. Where your video is embedded, press play, and at the end of the video, your campaign should appear. Congratulations! Just imagine all the possibilities available to you with this new trick. If you have any questions, please look through our helpful documentation. And for further assistance, you can always submit a support ticket and we'll be more than happy to help.